Persian traditional music is as rich as the history of Persia. In fact, archaeological evidence shows that Iranians used musical instruments even during the 800 BC. Traditional music of Iran is an expression of love, joy, sorrow, struggle and all the victories and defeats that Persians have experienced over time. The interesting point is that although Iran has been invaded by foreigners during the history, this Persian traditional music still remains unchanged. The art of every country represents the general attitudes and emotions of its people. As the tastes of each nation is different, they find similar sense in producing the art. You can easily feel the same atmosphere and theme in their artworks. Persian traditional music has its own unique rhythm. And what plays a vital role in its tune are absolutely Persian musical instruments. Today on Unexplored Iran, we list down 11 famous musical instruments that were originally invented by the ancient Persians. Tar. Tar is the name of one of the most applicable and well-known Persian musical instruments. Tar literally means string in Persian. It was first formed in the Middle East in the 18th century. We can say tar is from lute family, but with frets and six strings, five strings are steel and one brass. They carve mulberry wood to shape tar's body which is similar to a double bowl. You can also observe a thin membrane of sheepskin, stretched at its end. There are about 26 frets over its fingerboard, and they play the strings with a small plectrum. Next, Do Tar which literally means two strings, is a member of long-necked lutes family. This is not just found in Iran. You can see dotar in Central Asia, the Middle East and also northeast of China. But in Iran, mainly artists from northern parts and east of Khorasan province play dotar. The major instrument is the same in all regions, but the dimensions and number of ligatures differs from part to part. There are two kinds of woods used in this Persian musical instrument. A single block of mulberry wood is used the pear-shaped body of dotar. And for the neck, artists use either apricot or walnut tree. As mentioned earlier, the word tar is string in Persian, and sitar literally means three strings. However, you can recently find it with four strings, two steel strings and two brass ones. The fingerboard of this Persian musical instrument has 25 to 26 frets. Sitar material is from mulberry wood, and its usual size is about 85 asterisk 20 centimeters with a 15 cm deep bowl shape. As it's a very delicate Iranian musical instrument, mostly Sufis carry and play it. In comparison to tar, sitar is fully wooden and doesn't have the sheepskin membrane. It's directly played with nails especially index finger, and there's no need for a plectrum. Comanche is an Iranian instrument, similar to violin and bass. It's a bit bigger than a violin and almost equal to viola. 
Comanche is a four metal strings instrument played with a single stringed bow. The shape resembles that of a violin, a wooden hemisphere with a long handle. Usually, the wooden hemisphere is covered with a membrane from sheepskin. A key difference is that Comanche, unlike violin, has a bridge that is diagonal. It can be tuned in many different ways depending upon the region's likeness. Some people are of the belief that Comanche was a three-stringed instrument until the violin was introduced in Iran in the late 20th century, when a fourth string was added to it. This Persian musical instrument can be observed on many Iranian antique paintings, showing how commonly it was played and liked throughout centuries in Iran. Santa is one of the most known Persian musical instruments, popular among all age groups due to its charismatic musical notes. Santa is actually a hollow trapezoidal shaped instrument. Two rosettes are hit on it in a rhythmic pattern which produces the sound. Santa consists of 72 strings, making it one of the most versatile musical instruments. These strings are arranged in groups of four supported by a wooden bridge. Interestingly, you can use different types of wood to make a Santa which will result in different sound qualities. Generally, the woods used can range from walnut, chestwood, rosewood, betel palm, oak, and others, depending on availability and sound preference. Santa is also widely played in other countries like Egypt, Iraq, and India. Kanun is a Persian's either in a trapezoidal shape. This Iranian instrument is actually a wooden box that has 24 strings. Every three ones are stretched to the sides and kept by pegs. The player can control pitches by setting levels of the strings. And they are strummed with two plectrums on index fingers. Another Persian musical instrument is shaped from mulberry wood. It has a long neck and a pear-like shape. There are some holes over it for a more qualified resonance. Tambour has four strings and 14 chromatic gut frets. The player needs to use all the fingers of the right hand to play tambour. Of course, there are different ways of strumming the strings, in which mostly the index and pinky fingers are involved. Tambour enables the musician to make different rhythms and natural sounds including bird whistling, waterfall, and stream. Nowadays it's more common for sacred music in the west of Iran. is a hollow Iranian instrument like a drum. In simple words, it's carved from a single piece of wood, a hollow center is on the top and open from the bottom side. A goatskin or sheepskin membrane is glued on top which is fixed. This means that tombak cannot be tuned, however, it is usually prepared before playing by hitting or heating. Interestingly, it has softer low-pitched notes than other drums. Tombak is also known by other name in Iran like Zarb, which means to hit. The history of Darf goes back to ancient times when it was played in Old Persia, different parts of Asia and North Africa. 
In the 20th century, this percussion instrument was usually played by Sufis in Iran. Darf is a large round instrument like a drum but very thin. It is usually open at one side and not closed like a drum. The frame is usually made of wood with sheepskin membrane glued to one side. Sometimes, on the other side of the darf, which is open, many small metal rings are attached. Nowadays, darf has become very popular among Iranians, and many try to learn. a woodwind Persian musical instrument. It's a knot grass flute with six finger holes, five are over nay, and the other one is set by thumb. As the air is blown through nay, the sound will be heard. The edge of nay is held between front teeth, and the stream of air gets direction with tongue, this sets the sound pitches. The technique is not very easy, but once learned, it makes pure tones of sounds. The range is about two and a half octaves. Chang was a very popular Persian musical instrument and mostly used in the Sasanian era. It's similar to a harp, but strings are usually made of sheep or goat twisted hair or nylon. Nowadays they're made of horsetail too. This causes Chang to have a special sound. They play Chang by nails of right hand fingers or picks, and the strings are held with left hand fingers. As the technique of strumming is completely different, not many master this Iranian instrument, and it's difficult to learn.